Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Kerry Schmidt of Newington. Hi, I'm Pastor Kerry from Emmanuel Baptist Church, and we are studying Luke chapter 24, the resurrected Jesus, coming back to life again, has appeared to two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And now he's standing in front of his disciples, in the midst of them, actually. He appears in the midst of them and says, peace be unto you. And naturally, the disciples are terrified and afraid, on top of utterly uh, confused and disappointed after three days of living with Jesus dead in the grave and all of their hopes dead along with it. We said yesterday that we are story consumers in our culture. We are constantly, through television and books and movies and Broadway, we're constantly consuming and engaging in stories. And we're constantly identifying with the story of our own lives, hoping that we can write our own story. Or We're looking to uh, ways to better our story. We're looking to uh, other influences and philosophies, and we're tying off our hopes to things that we feel will write the best story in us and through us. Something right now is shaping the story of your life for this year and in the coming years. And we're surrounded by false narratives, and those narratives would be summed up uh, in this way. There's consumerism. That's, you know, you'll be happy if you just have more stuff. There's sensualism. That's you'll be happy if you just have more sex. There's hedonism, that's you'll be happy if you just continue to give yourself more pleasure. There is uh, secularism and, and cynicism, which is basically, you know, just stop asking the deeper questions and just get on with life and make the best of it. There's nationalism, and that is you'll be happy when your party is in control or when your politics are reigning and that, you know, America is the hope of your happiness. There's progressivism. In other words, we're all getting better and better and better, and culture is getting better and better and better, and one day there's going to be utopia. We're just going to progress our way into perfection, and all of these stories break down. They're all false narratives. None of them anchor us permanently. None of them are substantive None of them really fulfill the desires and demands of our heart. And so, friend, the question before us this week is, who or what will write your story? As we come to Luke 24, the disciples of Jesus, their story has fallen apart, but then their story is alive again right in front of them in a bigger, better, more awesome and wonderful way than they ever, ever imagined. And in reality, their story is just beginning. They've spent three days fearing, in hiding, in anxiety, perplexed, totally flummoxed, totally displaced. Jesus crucified, buried, but now he's risen and he's standing in front of them. And I got to say, his sense of humor is amazing. You know, he could have knocked on the door. He could have walked in slowly. He could have gradually, you know, he knows he's going to rattle them. He's alive. I mean, good night. If that's not terrifying enough, no, he has to appear right in the middle of them. I love it. I think Jesus is so amazing. He's almost, um, well, he's trying to wow them. Let's just put it that way. He is definitely uh, maximizing the shock and awe factor of his supernatural power and presence. And he appears in the midst of them. And his words are so powerful. He says, peace be unto you. We'll break that down a little bit tomorrow. But I want to leave you with this thought. When Jesus appears to his disciples in Luke 24, the story's not over, it's just beginning. And I want you to remember, the worst of their story has just happened. They've never been lower than they've been for the last three days. They've never hit bottom like they've hit bottom. They've never been more displaced and fearful and anxious and totally confused than they were the last three days. Suddenly, the source of hope and power and love and grace and goodness is standing in the middle of them. And he's declaring to them unequivocally, not only is the story alive, not only is the story uh, well and good and awesome, but the story is just beginning. Friend, I want to tell you this. I don't know how low you are. I don't know how recently you may have hit bottom, how confused or anxious or perplexed or fearful you might be right now. But I want to tell you, Jesus is very much alive. He is very much desiring to be engaged in your story and, frankly, writing your story. And when you let Jesus write your story, you can say with confidence and courage, 
My story is just beginning because Jesus is the author and he makes terrible things turn out to be triumphant things. So take heart, friend. If you're letting Jesus write your story, your story is just beginning. You've been listening to Pastor Kerry Schmidt of Newington. And this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.